Welcome back to the 25th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio and today we're gonna update the crummy AI. So this is what we had the last time. So here what you're seeing in front of you is where the enemy AI is kind of idle sitting here but we're gonna have for example a vision thingy here. So basically um, from the idle state we just say like oh and aggro and then of course the enemy will follow a little bit more complicated than that because i got a master plan for you and therefore today less coding more explaining what's actually happening because this system is a little bit more complicated but not too much but then you will see it and it makes then sense and then we can implement it nicely step by step so today less coding a little bit more explanation then we can uh, from this master plan you can just jump right into it and like yes uh, make it happen so if you want to know that stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing and liking and subscribing to check and boost the youtube algorithm Alrighty, so let's jump right into the good stuff so a few explanations what's actually happening so more player the enemy and then for example we got a room with some walls and of course the walls kind of prevent the enemies to see outside and then well see the player but this is how hotline miami kind of handles um the kind the states in which an enemy can be so the first state is basically an idle static state and then there's nothing happening it's just static like doing nothing and then we can actually have a roaming or a patrol state so what's actually that let's get rid of this dude and this dude here so for example a roaming state would be for example that let's go with that color and then for example the enemy is just going in this direction then it's halting then maybe randomly going here maybe bumping into the wall and then just ricocheting into other direction and then uh, kind of a random movement doing its AI thing so this is kind of a roaming thing then of course we got in Hotline Miami predefined uh, routes so here let's give it a different color so for example let's go the pink route so let's say uh, this is kind of a path and then the enemy is just doing this like following the path all the time and then uh, while well, doing nothing besides that and therefore uh, the path is just being executed all the time and then this is a very strict approach and then therefore um, then we have kind of a this symbol above it so this little emote is just then showing like hey there is a movement and then of course let's say the, the player is kind of shooting or whatever then we go into the checkout phase or state and then the enemy is like what what's happening and then for example he's basically hearing like uh, and then just saying like okay I need to check out this place so basically there will be the AI pathfinding so for that please watch my videos on AI pathfinding because this is tied directly into that so it will create a path to this point to this to this and trying to reach in here of course why we are going in here there will be a cooldown timer so for example if we want to um, well make this a little bit uh, sooner to stop then we just say like okay uh, maybe at half point we stop it and then um, what the AI is for example uh, were, okay what the AI is doing is just following the path and then um, for example it reaches let's say half point then it's going back to the original position and therefore um, of course this is then up to you then we will tinker around with that, those things but there will be definitely a cooldown thing and for example let's say the enemy is shooting alerting the uh, the player is shooting and alerting the enemy but we are going in some hiding and then for example the enemy is going here it's like uh, nothing is in here then he will just be idle for a few seconds and then going back to the original position but of course then we go to the last state and this is the most important one so let's say the enemy is going here and then he's just who's that and then 
wow, this is terrible. Um, then he's just seeing the enemy, uh, the player, and then it's like, all right, now it's aggro time. And then we go into the aggro state and boom, start uh, shooting or trying to go in close range because this is a melee enemy. And this is basically how um, Hotline Miami handles this. Of course, there are more states. For example, there's one state which is called, uh, what was that, Knockdown or Incapacity? Or basically stun locked or whatever. So for example, there's one state where the player is just just meleeing the enemy and then he's like in kind of a stun locked state and then boom, we can execute. We're not going to go into that state because this is very specific and then you can implement it if you like. This will be at the very, very, very end maybe, but I guess I'm going to skip on this part. And then, uh, well, what we're going to do is, by the, by the way, for example, once we're shooting the enemy, um, he will be stun locked also for that i guess we will have a different kind of icon emote uh, above the the enemy just uh, indicating okay he's being stun locked because he's getting attacked by melee by a melee weapon or for example by a ranged weapon whatever therefore uh, the eye is then standing still because uh, it wouldn't make no sense for example if the the player is shooting at the enemy he's like oh i don't really care bullets <laughs> what are bullets i don't really care They're going in the, into this direction so let's make it a little bit more realistic for that and therefore we're going to have multiple cooldown timers so for example one for going back one timer and one timer for example for being stun locked which is very short of course and therefore um, implementing all these things in game maker studio will take a few videos so here take your time because here we're gonna do this so today we're just gonna implement this uh, this thingy here so quick little jumping to the actual thing alrighty so what we're gonna do is very very simple so we get our enemy and now we want to do something which we didn't do before and in our last draw event we draw a line and for example we drew um, above the the enemy kind of this emote but we want to be to be this emote um, in a separate object so therefore of course this is then up to you but i guess this is definitely more cleaner to do later on and then we have less code to worry about so for that we just call it call it object enemy uh, state emote and this is just basically the pop-up thing which is above the enemy and here we i just imported a few more sprites and then we just give it the idle and now what we want to do is change a few things so first of all here we had tons of uh, ai all of that kill it because this was just temporary for here we just need those two lines here which are then before and then we say like hey if our state is idle then we say exit this just means like hey um, don't execute this code after that and then therefore we are saving tons of resource concerning the performance because now our step event for example if there's something below and tons of other things don't need to be executed and therefore this is nice and clean so let's go into our ai but not really so for that we just say hey let's create a new instance so basically our little emote so we just say hey instance create x and y let's go minus 15 or whatever and the layer we just take the one which we are on and then we just hey say like hey let's create an emote emote above us and for now this thing would be kind of static so basically sitting at one spot and if the enemy is moving not optimal therefore let's go in in there and just create a step and uh, create events and for that we just say like hey let's follow a thing so basically follow uh, the specific enemy on which we are hovering above for that we just have a nice little variable i just call it instance to follow you can call it whatever you like and then we want to uh, update our x position so here once again our this specific instance just say like hey Ooh. here we go come on then we just update our x and y position y i guess minus 15 like before so it looks smooth and then of course because this may cause some 
issues because let's say you're instantly creating the thing but um, there's not an instance there so therefore we just say like hey if instance is not equals to no one we just say like hey then update the position then of course one thing let's say for example we uh, kill the enemy so therefore we just say like hey we need to get rid of the instance which is hovering above because then it would be lying around and we don't really want that so we just say like emotes set it to the freshly created um uh, yeah to the freshly created instance and then we just say like hey in our destroy instance destroy here we go we just destroy our emote because we need to get rid of that once the enemy is gone because then this thing makes no sense and of course we need to update what the instance which we want to follow so this variable and then we just pass it our own id and then for example every enemy will have its own floating above emote and this is just then basically it so let's uh here once again everything is grayed out because i don't need or greened out therefore um we are just drawing ourselves and this is just basically it and then having a nice little thing which is hovering above all well, right as you can see and now it's of course animating which is pretty cool and now nothing is happening because there is no ai uh, whatsoever and in the next uh, videos then we will just update it then different kind of states and then later on we're going to do one thing which is very very counterintuitive from the beginning but it <laughs> it makes quite a lot of sense so let's get rid of this get rid of a lot of things let's see if we can yeah this is good enough for me um, so let's get rid of that green line because this is kind of annoying and um, what we're going to do is kind of important so let's say we are having multiple enemies then it would be not the best idea to run for all of them the same code and therefore what we're going to do is to have a check from the player so basically our AI will be triggered by the player itself not by the enemies and therefore for example once um, the, there is for example a line from the player to the enemy so let's say something like this then he's saying like okay there's a collision here and then we say like okay activate this enemy and then he's for example not in his idle state but goes into um, well check out or even aggro attack state and therefore this then makes definitely more sense and it is definitely more um, resource saving because uh, let's say um, if an enemy is uh, on idle it would make no sense to 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 give him all the stuff running all the code it is definitely uh, more easy to make it from the player because he's just checking it once and not uh, let's say three times or four times or whatever how many enemies you are having so therefore um, hopefully you get into that and then of course this is the best practice to um, have it player centric and this stuff we will use later on for example here for a nice little thing so these things will hover nicely and then once again it would be kind of a pointless thing to update and run uh, for example my ease function on all of the instances of the well, the little emote thing it would for example here this will be then externalized to one controller object and then all of them are hovering nicely and then there's just one calculation which is making the whole stuff easier Alrighty, that was it from my side. Hopefully you enjoyed this and looking forward to uh, completing this whole AI thingy here. And then after that, we're going to have quite a powerful tool already. Okay, that was it. Have a good one. One up, India.